Zabel Yesayan was a wonderful figure from the late 19th, early 20th century. She was an Armenian woman writer and political activist. She wrote novels, poetry, essays, memoir, and even plays. She was very active in the Armenian community, particularly in Constantinople. We know a lot about Zabel Yesayan's early years, and the reason is that she wrote a memoir of her childhood. It gives a very clear and lyrical picture of how she grew up in Skudari, or Iskudar, which is on the Asian side of the Bosphorus. We know that she was the oldest of three daughters. Um, she had a brother who, who, who died very, at a very young age, and she lived with her extended family. She was very close to her father. She learned to read from her father before the age of four, and he really took her education under his wing. And she would sit with her father and discuss very important issues, issues related to, um, to literature, but also issues related to human rights and human dignity. And this was something that her father felt very strongly about. And he, was, uh, he really wanted to inculcate the same sense and the same sensibilities in her. Um, he uh, also was very interested in women's emancipation. At the time, um, most families, whether they were Armenian or Greek or, or Turkish, in fact, you know, really did not believe that women were equal to men. And so the fact that her father would emphasize these things and want to you know, really uh, help her to understand um, these issues is, is extremely unusual. She grew up in Constantinople among Armenians, Christians, Greeks, Jews, Turks. It was a very lively community, and uh, she describes it beautifully in her book, The Gardens of Silidar, or Silidari Bardesnera. And she uses sounds and smells, colors and light to describe what she sees around her. So she did graduate from school at the age of 14. There were no high schools for young Armenian girls, but she started to get involved with the literary salon, and this really opened up another whole world for her. At the salon, there were several well-known Armenian writers and journalists who would attend these salons and discuss what was going on in the community. Now, this was at a very turbulent time in the Armenian life of the Ottoman Empire, so there was a lot of political talk. Um, and the fact that she was included, again, it was just not done. So this was um, probably the time when she decided to be a writer. There was one well-known Armenian female writer in Constantinople, and her name was Serpui Dusap. Serpui Dusap had written novels. They were considered feminist novels. And her ideas basically were that uh, women should be able to decide for themselves what they want to do. They should be educated. They should have the ability to choose their marriage partners. These, these ideas were not well accepted um, in the Armenian community at this time. Zabel decided she wanted to go meet Serpui Dusap. She enlisted a friend to go with her. They told Serpui Dusap at this time that they, um, both of them, wanted to be writers. And Serpui Dusap, you know, um, said, well, this is very all well and good, but you know that the path to being a writer, a female writer, is not smooth in the Armenian community. And she said, there are more thorns than laurels. And then she added, and if you're going to be a writer, a female writer, you cannot be mediocre. You know, a man can get away with being mediocre and a woman cannot. And basically she was telling them that they were going to be um, watched very carefully, that they were going to be under very critical eyes, and so they had to be great in order to succeed. So um, Yesayan, you know, and her friend left, and they said, well, what are we going to do? After they left and they talked to each other, and they said, well, we have to go to Europe to study so that we can become great. And um, she later does.